kind of like a Western, really. Don't you think? Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's like a Western set in post-apocalyptic Earth with humans and aliens trying to survive. It has a Western feel to it. I mean, it's more of like a frontier show, more of an immigration mm -hmm. really, show. I think what elevates the show is the, the the creativity that went into it. Yeah, I mean, it was five years in the making because of the game that goes along with it, and. Um, I think on our first day when we arrived for pre-production, it was amazing to see the amount of detailed work that had already been done on the show, and we could really just step into this whole world. Uh, the sets were spectacular. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a tenement, like yeah. the te like immigrants off of from Ellis Island, and yeah. the laundry hanging in between the tenements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and well, you, you get a sense of that from the show, just the expanse of the way you use it. And, and in fact, I was going to ask, when you're in such a complete environment as that. I mean, does is that helpful to an actor? To oh, can you sort of lose yes. yourself in that? Definitely, definitely. I mean, you you really you feel transported into a whole different world. I mean, it just it just feels different. Everything's electric around you and just completely different. It's not like you're just walking down the street mm -hmm. and they're trying to pretend it's futuristic. Yeah. <laughs> you know? um, so uh, there was I, I was. Um, on set one night really late and we were shooting in the sound stage but I decided to give myself like to walk through the um, streets of mm. the back lot and there were no lights on and it was so creepy <laughs> and you just really felt like you were in a whole different area just a whole different world. The characters as much as they are archetypes are very very different in very odd and alien ways. Yeah I mean you know playing a human I didn't get to have as much fun uh, uh, experiencing all of that, but it was, um, it's cool to see them develop, like, what the rituals were for the different alien races, the languages are phenomenal, yeah. we had, um, um, uh, David Peter Peterson, Peterson yeah. David Peterson, who developed all the languages on Game of Thrones, he developed seven alien languages that are phenomenal and all unique, like, I know, like, with, um, Jamie Murray specifically, she was very aware that English was a second language for her character, it was not a first language. And so she got to make some very creative choices in regards to that. Yeah. And it was great to see her bring that to life. Now you're the mayor. Yes, I play Mayor Amanda Rosewater. I'm the newly appointed mayor of the town of Defiance. I was the old, beloved mayor's assistant who, uh, when she decided to step down, handed me the reins, which was kind of surprising to everybody because mm -hmm. I was not in a position to really be a mayor. Um, Amanda's an idealist. She really believes in what Defiance stands for. She believes in keeping the town independent. And she believes that seven races of aliens and humans can actually come together and live peacefully as one. Uh, there's a lot of uh, factions against her, and she's in a bit over her head. But I think ultimately her, um, her goodness and her ideals will win out, maybe. She's also a like, tough cookie. She is tough. She doesn't take any crap, this girl. No. <laughs> no, I mean, she's, she's a strong woman. Um, she has her vulnerabilities, but um, she's, she definitely is, uh, comes from a place of strength. I mean, she survived a war as an orphan, raised her sister. Um, it was not an easy world after the war was over. Sure. Um, and they managed to survive and make it to defiance, so... Uh, yeah, they're tough. They're mm -hmm. they're not um, they're not wimpy. Yeah, right. Well, and we have Mia's character, another pillar of the community, but on the other end of the spectrum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I, I was I, I I think that for me, it's really important not to call it a brothel mm -hmm. because I think that the connotation of a brothel actually is something that's very dark and demeaning to women and not safe. Whereas this is a place for women and men to express their sexuality as an extension of their emotions. So I think it's, um, I think she's created this sexual universe where she feels like through sex you can become your best self and express things that possibly you can't say through your body. So I think it's kind of this utopia that she's tried to create. Well, yeah, I guess it's kind of like, a, um, like an old saloon 
meets a disco meets Apollo's retreat, Plato's retreat. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I mean, you know, it's it's interesting with these things because there's what you think of it, and then there's what the creator thinks of it, and you hope that these two things come together. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is probably one of the few occasions for either one of you where you get to come into makeup last. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, I, you know, I, I felt I had, I, I've paid my dues doing prosthetic makeup and being the first one and the last one out, so uh, it's refreshing to be a human on an alien show. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. And not, I mean, I was watching Stephanie, who plays Arissa, and I um, shared a place together, and she literally, watching her learn that language was yeah. literally mm -hmm. like, it was ever, it was like she was studying for exams. Yeah. I mean, somebody has spent a lot of time creating this mythology that we don't even know about right now. Yeah. That I haven't seen a lot of it, and I just think it's just a wonderful it's it's just a wonderful testament to what imagination can do, yeah. and what you see on screen. And it's just they did a well. they did a defiance wiki where you can go and they created like old newspaper articles. Of, oh, and that. old stories of um, like the townspeople when the aliens came, what the what the reactions were. Um, yeah, they hired uh, they hired a writer to to so kind cool. of put out all this information so fans can go to it and read about it before the show airs. Yes, and the actors too. Yeah, yeah. I know. I learned exactly. so much off of it. I was like, oh, that's what happened. Exactly. <laughs> the, the the aliens are, are so creative and so. I, you can't imagine this is possible given the amount of genre stuff out there, but so different from what we've seen before. Yeah, I. Oh, oh no. Well, I was going to say, it's just really nice to finally have a sci fi show where we actually have aliens. We haven't yes. had that in a while. And yeah. uh, we've had these post apocalyptic shows where we've had, like, kind of robotic aliens, yeah. but they're not, like, we don't, the humans don't really interact with them except yeah. in battle. Yeah. Um, we haven't had a real show in a long time where. Where we have human and alien interaction, where they're trying to live together, where they're trying to, you know, where they fall in love, where yeah. they fight, where they, you know, we haven't had that. Um, what's wonderful about the way it was created was the caste system among the aliens mm -hmm. and the fact that there's such a hierarchy of status that, you know, I think it really reflects parts of the world. Are, and how, how deep are you into filming now? We wrapped production on the first season already. Yeah. So. Right. Are we up for a second season yet, or do we know? We don't know. Fingers crossed. Well, let's encourage everyone to watch, because this is yeah. such a cool show, and I, I want to spend a lot more time in this world. Oh, oh that's good. awesome. Yeah, no, I really do, and, and I see a lot of stuff. So That's amazing. Yeah. Well, this is a great praise coming good. from you. Right. I, that makes me really excited. I'm so glad. But uh, so nice to see you both again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.